Thailand. This video series is about a 2,600 kilometer journey on tiny motorcycles. It's you on video. Hello everyone. As a group, we started in Kuala Lumpur and bought our own bikes, prepping them for the journey ahead. Join us as we spend nearly two weeks in the saddle. First, riding out for the Malaysian highlands, where we took on the nation's highest road. Yeah, oh there's a ute coming, be careful. Before heading over the border into southern Thailand. The largest capacity engine on this journey is 125cc and we stayed in 8 different locations along the way. Anyway, this intro is long enough already, let's kick into it. Ah, Malaysia. Home of over 30 million people and more than 16 million motorcycles. And soon, I'd be the owner of one of those motorcycles. If you've watched small bike stuff before, you'll know I have a penchant for two-wheeled machines, preferably small and slow. One of the first videos released on this channel was a 30-minute summary of a motorcycle trip between two friends and I. We started in Kuala Lumpur and ended in Bangkok, Thailand. We'd always wanted to do it again, and plans were made for 2020, but... By 2023, I'd finally had enough of just thinking about it and decided to put a plan into action. So what exactly was the plan? The original 2019 trip saw us arrive in Kuala Lumpur, buy motorcycles, ride them in seven days all the way to Bangkok, Thailand, while stopping in a different place each night along the way. It was an incredible adventure, but there were a few major flaws. Number one, we only rode one way. It's nearly impossible to sell a Malaysian bike in Thailand. But we were set on this route, so at the end of the trip we decided to harvest the good parts of our bikes, send them home, and recycle the rest. This meant our total bike cost was a lost investment, and the new trip had to start and finish in Malaysia so the bikes could be sold and some costs recouped. Number 2. The first trip had been too fast paced. I mean, it's not like we were doing large distances in the scheme of things, but considering it would be the only time in our lives we could see some of these places, it didn't make sense that we were just riding past them all at great haste. With all that taken into account, the new plan was set. We'd start and finish in Kuala Lumpur, we'd still cross the border into Thailand, but this time we'd only go as far north as Surat Thani before heading back down towards Malaysia. We'd have two proper break days, one in Krabi, Thailand, and another one over the border in Penang, Malaysia, and most riding days would be fairly easy at around two to 300 kilometers max, with one long day towards the end. Anyway, that's enough pretext, enough explanations. Let's jump straight into it. 